what's the hybridization of NH3? Well, if we draw the Lewis structure, it's simply a nitrogen single bonded to each of three hydrogens, and it has a lone pair. Great. Now, the sigma bonds that you make between the nitrogen and each hydrogen and the lone pair, that's one, two, three, and four, are all in hybridized orbitals. That means you'll need to hybridize together an S, you know, the 2S, and then all three of the Ps. One, two, three, four hybridized orbitals is what lets you make one, two, three, four, well, in this case, three sigma bonds plus an occupied hybridized orbital for the lone pair as well. If you were gonna draw that, if I was gonna draw ground state nitrogen, I'd have five valence electrons, and then they combine to make one, two, three, four hybridized orbitals. We call it S for the S and P3 for the one, two, three of the Ps. And we're gonna fill it with those five electrons, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, look, there's your lone pair, and there's the three sigma bonds that you make. Great. The hybridization, oh, specifically of N is sp3. Hydrogen does not hybridize. The 1s orbital that hydrogen has a single electron in can overlap with any of these hybridized orbitals. And so the hydrogen itself is not hybridized. Done. When you're asked for the hybridization of NH3, realistically, you were just asked for it for nitrogen. That's all I have to say. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.